Guys, I've been lying to you, and I did a video recently where I told you guys that I've changed the hardest tire configuration in the world. I did a video where you guys made you validate me and I called you guys, and you guys had to call me daddy. I said that if I'm able to do this with just my fingers, you guys had to call me daddy, which you guys did, and I thanked you for that because it made me feel better about myself. But about half the comments in that video all said that the wheel that I did was not the hardest in there. So let me give you guys a little backstory. I, as a bicycle mechanic, have come across many flat tires, and there have been many wheel and tire configurations I've put on to a bicycle that has been very tough for me. One of the wheels and tire configurations out there that I've known for the most longest, that have been one of the hardest ones out there, is a Reynolds wheel and a Continental 5000, not the STR, but the regular or the TLs. Almost impossible to get on with just your hands. I've also known that the Windspace Hypers with the Contents of 5000s are a very difficult combination to get on there. Now, before I made this video, I never carried Challenge tires. I never had these tires in store. These are a handmade Italian tire out there uh, meant to rival a turbo cotton tire where they have the cotton sidewalls on there and they say that's a very nice lightweight tire. Now, half the comments out there after I posted this were like, hey, try a Challenge tire. I'm like, Ch I thought they were making fun of me. I'm like, Challenge tire, what are you guys, are you guys saying that this is not challenging enough? Um, once I got these tires in my store, which I do like, they're very expensive, but I do like them. This is the hardest tire I've ever put on a rim by far. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how much of a master mechanic I am by installing it on this wheel right here. I can do the tubeless or tubed. I probably will start off with just tubeless on there, but man, oh man, the first ever tire I put on here onto a rim itself was a pain in the ass. This is my current setup I have on there. And to make it worse, I run TPU tubes inside of there. So I was extra fragile and extra gentle with it. I've changed eight, maybe thousands of tires and tubes on there. Wheelchair tires and tubes, uh, high-end tires and tubes, hookless tires and tubes, mountain bike tires and tubes, tubeless. Um, but this by far is the most difficult tire I've ever put on any rim combination out there. I've installed it on drives. I've installed it on Roval Rapide CLXs. I've installed it on Zip 454 NSWs. Um, but this was the first ever encounter I had was with these Elite Drive 65D wheels right here. And again, it's a 25C tire with a TPU tube in there. I said, hey, these shouldn't be difficult. The, by means, I'm stuttering because of the fact that I'm literally having PTSD. This was the one of the most, I think I spent on the first front wheel, 20 minutes of literal time sitting there inch by inch with a tire lever. Eh, 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 ah! Like, I got so scared, broke a lever. Eh. Mm. Ah. like beyond scared on here. So then I started going back through my training. I figured it out. And now I've done so many of these tires on the Zip 454, the Revolve Rapide. I feel a bit more of a master on there, but I want to prove to you guys that once again, I'm making fun of you guys directly to your face. Here you go again, guys. Criterion. Revolve CLX. I'm going to make you guys call me daddy again because this video is going to be for pure enjoyment only. I'm going to take this challenge tire, stick it on this hyper rim. And I'm going to do so trying without a tire lever. If I can do so without a tire lever, you guys call me Zaddy. If I can only do it with a tire lever, you guys can call me Daddy. But I'm telling you right now, I'm the best at this. And I want you guys to know this is not impossible. I've had customers buy these tires, take them home, and then return them because they couldn't do it. So I'm here to prove a point. I'm up for the challenge. I'm not going to stop, edit it. You guys are going to have to listen to this dead silent all night long. Challenge tires, criterium, let's go. <laughs> How do I stop this? So let's get into Zaddy style, okay? We have here the Challenge Criterium TLR RS series, 700 by 27. This is like their 28 companies are different, obviously. This is a hookless compatible tire. We're going to be installing it first with no tube. Then I will show you guys afterwards with a tube because that will be more difficult because there'll be more material shoved inside of there, okay? But first and foremost, let's get this thing popped out. Criterium tires. Really nice tires, very performance oriented, super lightweight. I do like the look of them. And plus they're the only tire I know out there that has a white sidewall on here. They come in white and they also come in black. If you do not buy them from me, I don't care. This is not for a selling purpose. This is just strictly to, for me to show you how much better I am than you at everything in this world. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm gonna go over this other side. All right, I hit the record button. 
Now there's no stopping. I'm gonna come over this side. I'm gonna show you guys. Now there might not be places where I can do things, but places I'm just mumbling. First, we're gonna put the logo by the valve stem. Uh huh. Like so. I'm gonna show you guys how tight this tire is. It's crazy. Handmade in Italy. The Italians over there. Are real funny because you guys like to make fun of us over here. But we can already see one side on here is super tight. This is gonna be difficult. I'm probably gonna need a a tire lever, but I'm not gonna give up just yet. Holy cow, this thing's tight. It's literally like putting a tubeless, or I'm sorry, a tubular tire on a rim channel. But the good side is if I ever had to run hookless wheels, I would feel very comfortable doing so. Now that I have one side on here, we can see. Look at how tight that is on here, okay? Now what I wanna do is I wanna remove this bead over a little bit, make room to give myself some more room for this bead over here. So I'm gonna work this in. La da 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 da. La 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 la. Handmade. <laughs> I got some handmade for you. It's in between my leg. It's not funny. It's not. It's not what it's meant to be. Okay. So we already have halfway on there. And again, this literally looks like a tubular tire. If you ever worked in the bicycle industry, there is no room in between here. Okay, guys? You put something in there like that, that will snap off your, your bits and gibbles. Okay, so here's where it gets tight and technical, and this is where people usually give up and then say, Grant, I can't do it, please help me. Please help me, I gotta ride tomorrow. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna manhandle this like a man would. We're gonna get the rim beads in between here. Now, this is just me being an idiot and having ego. But if you had a tire lever, you can kind of manipulate this bead a little bit better. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up doing that anyways, but I'm basically trying to move the bead, the wire bead of the wheel uh, into the rim channel, okay? Think of me like the sham wow guy, all right? Sham wow. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, this is not gonna go on. Oh, maybe, just maybe. Now you guys probably wonder how my thumbs do that. This is years of bicycle tire changes. My thumbs have literally have a new adaptive state. You wanna see evolution here? My thumbs are so worn, okay? This is not gonna work though. We might have to pause the video and let the magic of editing do its job. Okay, I'm gonna leave the wheel right here I guess I'm not gonna be a zaddy, but I'm gonna get a tire lever. I'm just gonna be your guy's daddy. So it's gonna stay right here. Watch the logos. I'm not gonna touch it, okay? It's gonna stay just like that. You guys are idiots. You guys are so dumb. My editor's about to pop into place. <laughs> These people are idiots. I'm making a killing from YouTube. <laughs> uh, raking in the big bucks. That, you're not supposed to be watching this. You're supposed to be watching the tire. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> Cameraman followed me where he shouldn't have, so I fired him too. I'm looking for a new cameraman, looking for a new editor. We call these arrow thumbs, all right? Now, normal tire lever, plastic, polyurethane rubber, okay? See right now? There ain't no way. This is difficult. See, look at that. This, this thing's gonna break. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna move it over. We're gonna move this hole on this side right here. Move it over. Right now I'm relocating the tire bead into the middle of the tire. Uh-huh, like so. Just give myself some room. That is it, we're doing. Now as soon as I do this, this baby's gonna cave. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Jesse, Jesse. Oh, you son of a bitch. No. This is not going the way I wanted to. Wait, we gotta do this too. We're going to move this like this. Give ourselves some room. Put the tire lever inside of here. We're gonna separate the tire bead from the rim wall. I am the chosen one. Okay. This is not looking good for me. All right, here we go. 
There we go. We're good. We're good. Time. <laughs> Zaddy. <laughs> I'm done. That is, I don't know how I'm going to get a tube on there, but I'm sure if there's a tube inside of here, that'd be pinched. Tire is stuck on here. No regard for human life. If you get a flat tire with this on the side of the road, you're calling an Uber right away. You cannot get this tire off without a question of a doubt. But dang, man. Look at that damn, look at that rim channel on here. Again, you want performance tires, get them. All right, so now that it's on there, we're going to remove it, remove this valve, and we're gonna put a TPU tube in there. An extra light polyurethane tube that has no business being inside of a tire this tight, but for your guys' viewing pleasure, I'm gonna do so. Now there's two things that can go wrong here. I can one, I can pinch the tube, or two, I can break this tire lever and just give up. Usually when I pinch a tube, I yell at the customer aggressively and tell them get the hell out of my store, and I blame it all on them. I say, what the hell is this crap you brought me in? This is crap, you're crap, you're, everything's about you crap, your group ride's crap. And I just yell aggressively until they leave, and then I just move on to the next object at hand. Um, or if the tire lever breaks, I act like it's my finger that breaks, and I say I gotta go to a hospital, and then I get out of this, this project anyway. So let's go ahead and put a, a tube in there. Some people might also result, or uh, what's that mean? Uh, revolt, Re result, result, in using a metal tire iron on this. Please do not ever use a metal tire iron on your carbon rim. There is always gonna be a way to do so. If you do not feel confident doing it, take it to a bike shop. If that bike shop does not feel confident doing it, take it to another bike shop. There will always be someone out there like myself who's up for the challenge, even if it takes me half a day to do so. The self gratification I get from doing this type of stuff is better than sometimes any kind of like a bike sale or whatever. I like doing things that people can do. Uh, holy cow, I just shit my pants. Um, not being like ego or anything like that, I just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's fun when people say they can't do shit, you know? Makes you want to try in life, gives you a purpose. I'm not saying that you're gonna sit there and say you're better than anyone else, but sometimes people just give up on the easiest things. All you really gotta do is just apply yourself and just keep on trying. And when you really get tough, just get angry at it. Give it like, hey, like, I'm, this tire's not better than me. Okay, enough with the damn life talk. TPU tube, polyurethane. Extra light, 35 grams. One mistake, one bad tire level placement, it's all gone for me. $40 down the drain right here, okay? I am doing this for you guys. Blah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to blow this up in private. Didn't want you guys getting the wrong idea. We have a semi blown up tube. First goal in life is to get this tire. <laughs> tire! I'm <clears throat> going through puberty. <clears throat> tire back on the rim. We want to get one side of the bead on there. I'm going to go back over here like this. And no, there's not going to be a sped up version of this because, again, I just fired my editor. He's outside in the storm right now waiting for me. We take the same car to work when he edits and he's outside in the rain. And I told him that I'd rather him get struck by lightning than be safe and secure inside of my shelter. That's how much I hate his editing. So we can also see here that after this tire has been applied once, it's a little bit easier to get on. So we're gonna put it on one side. Oh yeah, baby. So one side of the tire is on. Super nice. We will now take a uh, lightweight TPU tube. These things are a godsend. If you are running non-tubeless and you're running butyl tubes in the year 2023, I don't know what you're doing in life, but these things are amazing. Super lightweight, better for rotating mass less rolling resistance, and they even say they help with punctures as well because of the fact that it's not as grippy as a butyl tube. What I'm doing now, we're releasing some pressure because obviously we can see here, this is not gonna fit in there. My main goal is to get this TPU tube inside of the rim channel. So let's go ahead and force it in there like a pizza. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. And again, like I said, if this does pinch or pop, we blame the customer. We tell them they have to buy another tube because of the fact that they broke it. They might have picked the faulty one and all the ones that come inside the boxes are brand new and they're just bad luck in life and <laughs> just add to it. Say so I wouldn't want to be them. People are very scared to work with these tubes, but it's like a balloon animal. 
You shove it in there. Look at that. Everything's tucked in where we want it to be. TPU tubes inside the rim channel. Now my job is to work this thing around and get in there. I start from the valve, work my way around. Some people start from here and work their way to the valve. Those people are psychopaths. All right, let's get this going. You want to just manhandle this thing in. Be like, I'm sorry, honey, I didn't get the job. Did I just pinch it? No, it popped out. I don't care if the guy down the street is better than me, right? I'm doing my best. If they got a new car, I want a new car. You know, like really like, just like fight your inner demons here. Now we have an issue. Oh, snikes. The tube popped out. Okay, what do we do here? I'm gonna shove it back in. I'm gonna say, you're not gonna speak to me like that. <laughs> I'm gonna open up some of the rim channel. Go. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, reset. Reset. Be careful, guys, because you can pop open your damn tube. Okay. I don't know how this tube popped out here. But again, this is the part where I yell at the customer. I'm getting angry. I'm getting sweaty. I'm shoving this tube back in there. And obviously, if you're not on camera, this is 10 times easier at home. Anyone could do this stuff. Bro, stop popping out on me. Okay, we're back in. Okay, we saved it. And I will pump this up to show you guys there's nothing there. So, that's tight already. I can tell you this, this thing's gonna snap in here. So what I'm gonna do is, again, work around here. Squeeze this tire, manipulate it to where I want it at. And when I was doing the Jesse voice earlier, that's from Breaking Bad, me and my wife were re-watching Breaking Bad for some reason. So, I'm not talking about a girl, okay? I have a wife. Jesse! You know when he says like Jesse Pinkman? Jesse! Yo, Mr. White. Oh my God, look how easy this is. So I just literally took the bead all the way around, put it back into the middle of the rim channel. Watch how easy this is gonna be now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Boom! Throw the wheel. Let's pump it up. Pump is attached. Let's see what happens here, guys. If I pinched it, we're at 60 PSI. Mm -hmm. 90 PSI, that's fine, it's good enough. Today's standard PSI. That's it. That's a good looking wheel right there. That is a Challenge Criterium RS TLR hookless compatible on a rim at 90 PSI, no leaks. Holy cow. But anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. You guys now have to call me daddy down in the comment section below. I don't care how much I struggled. It will mean the world for me and my confidence to know that people call me daddy. I am somewhat of a psychopath, and when I don't get what I want, I flip out. So if you guys can please call me daddy down below, it would mean the world to me. Thank you to Loon and Mega for sending me these wheels out. Uh, detailed wheel review coming up on these things soon, if not already beforehand. And thank you to myself for showing the world what I'm capable of. Bye, I love you guys. I do this because for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully it wasn't boring.